Somebody recently asked me how my trolling motor battery is installed on my PWC platform. So here is the wiring that comes out on the back of my Yamaha. Now this is the, uh, the portion that actually connects to the battery. I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, this is the connectors and such that came with the trolling motor. Now, notice up here, I did buy a water-resistant uh, connector to use out on the water and wired that to the end of my trolling motor battery. This is my trolling motor kit and the trolling motor equipment and, so, and everything that uh, plugs in to the battery on a standard trolling motor setup. All I did here was I did put on a more water resistant connector. Soldered that on, shrink tape, keeps it nice and protected. It's holding up pretty well. So this is the back of the 2012 Yamaha FX. Let me get the rear seat section out of the way. So here's the battery box. Now this is not a battery box until you do some modifications. On the Yamaha Wave Runner, this box here had a solid top and it's a watertight box that you can use for storage. So I cut this top and opened it up and I'll pull it out of here so you can see what it looks like. So I could mount a deep cycle marine battery. This is a smaller battery for a trolling motor application, something like that. So I'll go ahead and pull this out of here and I'll show you the setup. So here's the box out of the Wave Runner. You can see it's just a standard box, watertight, top and bottom, when it originally came with the ski. So what I've done is I mounted in the bottom of the box here. I'm not going to take it all the way out, but because I use this uh, foam, I use this heavy grade fatigue mat foam here to insulate and keep the battery from sliding around. But you notice most important right here, this shock cord, paracord. So with this paracord, I actually have the battery mounted to a piece of plywood down uh, at the bottom of the, the box. I installed some plywood down there that I cut out to fit so that I could mount the battery to a, a solid wood platform. And then I just uh, hooked in some clips and used the paracord to secure the battery. And of course the trolling motor connections just screw right on to the, uh, the posts on the battery. And of course I have an inline fuse that came with the, uh, the system and works great, uh, nice and easy just snake that right up and over the back of the ski and it just lines right up into the hole. So that's what it looks like on the Yamaha. Let's take a look at the Kawasaki. My Kawasaki is actually a 2003. So we've got the Yamaha on the right, which is a 2012, and a 2003 Kawasaki. Surprisingly, it's the exact same setup. So let me get the back seat lifted up a bit and show you where I put the battery there. So here is the uh, underside of the 2003 Kawasaki. This is an XSX15. And here is the box under the seat. Now, the box under the seat here was not a watertight box. Uh, I simply fit the battery in there. And I used the foam and, and such to pad the battery and secure it. And I run the wiring exactly the same right out the back. Goes directly to the trolling motor. Works, works fantastic. Really does.